20,000 types of fabrics, more than 30 kinds of collars to choose from. The choices for each piece of the shirt are infinite and can be personalized according to your taste and specifications. Each shirt is tailored to fit your body perfectly, using an artisanal process that is unrelated to any industrial logic. In a world dominated by mass production, an Italian tailor continues his family tradition of custom tailoring shirts. This process includes a human connection between the customer and the tailor to create a unique and personalized garment. But how are they made, and what is the future of this handcrafted production? I am a son of art. I came quasi spontaneo da da bambino toccare forbici, ago, filo. È una cosa che mi è sempre piaciuta e eh, continuo a fare con, con molto piacere. Maurizio Cao is the owner of Camicceria Cao, a tailor shop specialized in custom-made shirts located in Cagliari, Italy since 1986. Maurizio started off as a tailor, just like his father. However, he soon realized that he could create something unique by exploring custom shirt making. Yet, the road to success was not so immediate. Prima di fare una camicia per un cliente, abbiamo fatto esperienze. Esperienze anche assurde, però esperienze che oggi a ricordarmi adesso, eh, diciamo che qualche lacrima è anche scesa, perché le cose non venivano come volevamo, però poi alla fine, senza fretta, soprattutto, siamo riusciti. If he wanted to stand out among all the other tailors, Maurizio knew he had to master his work. Therefore, for almost four years, he invested all his free time and money into attempting to craft the perfect shirt. Creating a custom-made shirt is a meticulous process that requires skill, passion, and patience. It all begins with a meaningful conversation between the tailor and the customer. Tailor and customer discuss all the details of the shirt, like color and fabric which may vary depending on the customer's preferences and purposes. During this phase, the tailor gives expert advice to the customer to help him find the perfect match among 20,000 kinds of fabrics. Next, the tailor takes the customer's measurements, which are then displayed on a paper pattern. Even though it takes more time, the paper patterns are still drawn completely by hand. This method requires simple tools like paper, pencil, ruler, and above all, meticulous precision. The pattern is cut out and applied to the fabric to obtain the various pieces of the shirt, such as the hips, back, sleeves, collar, and yoke. A pair of scissors is dedicated exclusively for each stage of the process to preserve their sharpness. Cutting quickly with these scissors may seem easy, but it requires experience. Their generous size makes it easy to cut large fabric portions, ensuring precise craftsmanship. To obtain straight cuts, a thread is pulled from the weft of the fabric, creating a perfectly straight line. This is an artisanal method that ensures high precision. Diciamo che mediamente per fare una camicia ci vogliono circa 4 ore di lavoro. Nella sartoria, siccome state facendo una cosa artigianale, i tempi si possono dilatare per qualsiasi motivo. Puoi sbagliare qualcosa, il cliente può essere insoddisfatto, lo devi rifare. E quindi può capitare che la giornata diventi di 10, 11, 12 ore. As the world of custom tailoring evolves, there's an emerging trend towards a more industrialized process. In mass production, the different steps of the creation process are carried out by different employees. While in a small tailor shop, such as Maurizio's, a single tailor is bound to create the shirt from start to finish. This mainly translates into economic and practical disadvantages for the small artisans. La ragazza che prende la camicia del cliente sarà quella che va la termina. 
mentre in un'industria certe particolari del su misura andranno sicuramente a perdersi. Maurizio believes that it's complex and expensive for an artisan to train an apprentice tailor, as the process requires a substantial amount of practice, experience, and financial investment. But does this mean that traditional custom shirt making is near to an end? Saremo sempre magari più di nicchia, ma sempre esisteremo. Furthermore, artisanal production is better for the environment, utilizing fewer resources as everything happens in one place. It emphasizes the shirt's durability and promotes fair labor practices. Every piece of the shirt is carefully processed in detail. To make certain parts of the shirt stiffer, such as the collar or sleeves, a layer of fabric is applied, called a heat seal adhesive, applied with an iron or heat press. Over the years, the shirt has claimed the top spot in every man's wardrobe, becoming the most versatile garment. It can be worn under a jacket when you're in the office or with chinos on the weekend. Maurizio suggests that every man should have at least 12 shirts to change his style every day of the week, allowing enough time to wash and iron them carefully. The shirt is made to fit the customer's measurements, so it fits perfectly and highlights the body's strengths. After the customer tries on the basted shirt and is satisfied, the final stage begins, sewing. The various pieces of the shirt are joined one by one. It's a very delicate process that doesn't allow for mistakes. Even a crooked stitch would mean starting the piece over. Every shirt must be perfect, with not a single thread out of place. Maurizio openly acknowledges the challenges that come with the life of an artisan. He understands that the demanding nature of the craft, requiring long work hours and an abundance of patience, is precisely why there's a shortage of young people ready to embark on this journey. Even within his own family, the flame of tradition appears to be flickering out, as his daughters are not planning to pursue the path he and his father had taken. The tradition of Sataria Kao seems to be coming to an end. But rather than viewing this as bad news, Maurizio remains hopeful. He dreams that a fresh and passionate young talent will emerge, someone who will inherit the role of craftsmanship, embracing the job with the same enthusiasm and dedication that drove his father to open their shop all those years ago. Si attende in bottega uno che mi possa veramente sostituire, ben venga. <laughs> Un ragazzo, una ragazza volenterosa che voglia intraprendere questo lavoro, perché a livello familiare penso che abbiamo finito il passaggio generazionale. Quindi il lavoro c'è assolutamente, sarebbe un peccato perdere questa, questa risorsa.